days of our lives. So, Father, I just thank you for your word. I thank you, Father, that it, sent, it accomplished what you, what you sent it out to do. I thank you, Father, even for the spirit of prayer and intercession that will raise up in this place. I thank you, Father, for... Uh, for the watchmen that you are placing upon your wall. I thank you for the birthing forth of new things, Father. I just thank you, and I thank you that this word shall minister to us and speak to us even as we lay upon our beds. And I thank you that it didn't fall on deaf ears, Father. And I just bless you even for the spirit of what you're doing. In Jesus' name, amen. There's so much more to church than meets the eye. <laughs> There's so much more to church than meets the eye. And it's very imperative for us to understand the reason why God brought us out of darkness. God's goal for us was not heaven. God wants heaven here. He would have never gave us a prayer in Matthew 6. What does it say in the first verse? Verse 9, it said, Our Father, who art in What? Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Be done where? On earth. As what? Okay. So the earth is supposed to be a reflection of heaven. Yeah. That's the whole goal. That's why he saved us. That's why he took the people and gave them his name. And put his, his, his name, his identity, his nature on the inside of them. And we got to participate with that thing. We got to make up our mind that we're going to move from church to kingdom. We're going to move out of darkness into light. We're going to move. So we got to go into that place in our own thinking. As a people to say, you know what? I have a groaning on the inside of me. Yes. Sure. Each one of us have a groaning. Each one of us have a groaning. And, you, and there's no way you can tell me, look, look at me in my face and tell me you don't have something on the deep, on the inside of your belly that's crying out, that's tugging at your heart, that's telling you to lay certain things down, that's telling you to embrace your true nature and your true identity. I know, I know, unless you're not saved, but if you're saved, and know Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, there is more on the inside of you that is laying dormant, <laughs> that's looking to be activated. Yeah. And I don't know about you, I thank God I didn't get stuck in religion and tradition. Amen. I'm telling you, Amen. I'm telling you, I, I, I thank God I am so, so gracious and gratuitous. I was talking to Apostle Tim last night. I just thank God that I could be in any church, in any state, on any continent. Yeah. When God thought about me from the foundations of the world. Yeah. Yeah. And I could just be as religious as the next man. Yeah. But he smiled on me. Yeah. And, and, and put me in a position yeah. where I can walk in the glorious liberty that the reserve. And I don't know about you, but I get excited. I don't have everything that I want. I'm not doing all the best things that I desire to do. But within me, there is a measure of freedom that I get excited about. Some of the things I look at is what he brought, broke off my life. Man, hey, come on now. And we got many things to birth in this ministry. We got things that need to be done, places that need to, we need to go, people we need to see that's locked up on the inside of us. And as she so eloquently said, we got to become priests before kings. Got to become priests. So it's very important for us to get ourselves in that position. So I thank God for Elder Vanessa giving that word. And I, I challenge you to you. let the Holy Spirit go back and brood over you. Ask him to, like he did Mary. Brood over me. That was something that you put that was released on this morning. That I think we had the same language. That what you have is holy thing. And it comes from God. You don't have to wait on Christmas. Yeah. 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 There's a divine deposit put in your spirit, so just let the Holy Spirit bring you into that that uh, awareness. So thank God for you bringing the word, even in the midst of a cold and crafty throat. She has, she has trusted in the anointing, so I, I really appreciate that. All right, praise God.